Okay, in this next video, we're going to learn how to do exterior walls and interior walls. And we'll see how much time's left. Uh, so at this point, you should have your guidelines made. And this is telling you where your interior walls are going to be. Once those lines are there, you can go ahead and, and start this process. So we're, at, we're in our floor plans level one currently. You're going to go to this drop down. You're going to choose under wall. You're going to choose wall structural. This is a structural wall, which is considered a load bearing wall that has to hold um, the weight of the house and that kind of thing. So clearly we need that um, to be the case structural. Now we are going to choose the type of wall that we want it to be. So in the properties menu here, we have different options. You can choose exterior um, wall with brick. You could choose a, an exterior wall with siding. That's what clapboard is, siding. So those are your two options that the program provides for you. By default, if you want something different like stone or uh, maybe a full glass wall or... Maybe you want your wall to have a different finish that is more like a stucco or just a solid color. In those cases, we may choose if it's just a solid color like a stucco would be. We may just choose um, one of these masonry walls, but uh, see me for those details. Um, but if you want brick or, or siding, those options are already here. So we're going to choose um, exterior clapboard on wood stud. Now we've got a few settings to adjust before we move forward. We need to choose location line, which is either here or here. Let's just do it here. So we're keeping things uh, just so we're used to working in this menu. So we're going to change this to finish face exterior. We're going to set our base constraint to top of floor remember that's the one that we made that's the new layer we made earlier we want our walls to stop or I'm sorry to start on that layer that top of floor level that we made so that's our base constraint that is where the wall is going to start all right and then the top constraint is where does the wall end at what level does the wall go up to so we want it to go up to the roof level Right? Remember, those are all the things that we adjusted in our elevations. So that should make sense. Our base constraint, where the wall starts. Our top constraint, where the wall ends. And those levels are found in the elevations. Now we can go ahead and start to draw the wall. So because we fished, we, we, we selected this um, exterior face. That's going to put the finished face on the exterior, but it's going to um, be important with how the wall kind of lands on these lines that we drew. So pick a corner and go in the clockwise direction. Notice the wall sits on top of my floor. You know, the wall is not out here notice how the wall here would be sitting on air there's nothing underneath the wall if i go in this direction so i need the wall to sit on top of my slab right i'm going to click on this endpoint and right now i'm just doing the house i'm, I'm not doing the garage click on this endpoint come around click on this endpoint and i can go right around the house and come back and snap to that original endpoint. Okay. And now what I want you to do is go to your 3D view and make sure it's right. So go to 3D. That tab will be there if you already opened it at least once or you can go here. And now you can see what you've got. You've got a wall. It sits on top of the slab. The siding is facing out in the correct direction. If your siding is on the inside of the house, you got a problem. You did it in the wrong direction. And so now we, we know we, we set everything correctly. Now, of course, I didn't do the garage, so you can go around and do your garage. 
Um, and in this case, you can, um, if, as long as the walls are the same height, like the wall, this wall and the wall of the garage, uh, you might fall into a circumstance where things get, get a little fuzzy here, but you can just go right around these three walls like so. Now it does remember all my settings. Does it? No, it doesn't. Base constraint, top of floor. It remembered finished face exterior. Top constraint, roof. And I'm going to stop here. I'm not going to put another wall there. I don't need one, right? Hit escape to clear. Go back and look at it in 3D. So that's just the walls from my garage. And I know they're siding here on the inside. Um, that's okay. We're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that. Not a big deal. You won't see when the roof is on. All right. So now interior walls. Back to level one. Now, again, structure tab, wall, structural. Now we're gonna choose. Remember, exterior walls are six inches because they need room for siding, right? I'm sorry, for uh, insulation inside. Interior walls can be smaller. They don't offer a lot of options here, different sizes. The closest thing to what we would do would be this interior four and seven eighths partition wall. So we'll go ahead and select that. And same thing, um, Make your adjust your settings. Now this time, you are going to choose location line, core center line. Okay, core center line. You're going to change the base constraint. Same thing, top of floor. Your offset, your offset might say negative eight feet here. Change it to zero feet, zero inches. We don't want any offsets. We want it to start right on that top of floor level. Top constraint, same thing up to the roof level. Apply. Now, I can snap right here to this endpoint. Click. Come over to here. Click on that interior wall. And then you're just going to go, now I've got to hit escape to clear. And then I can go over here and continue on. I notice I'm not overlapping walls. I'm not going across here. There's no, that wouldn't make sense. There's already a wall there. Whoops, I hit escape and it went away. My walls went away. I hit escape and they disappeared. Why did that happen? It happened because my settings are not staying. So, I, I have walls there. I drew them. They just disappeared. Okay, let's go ahead and look in 3D, and I'll show you what happened. The settings here didn't stay the same. When I hit escape, they reverted back again. So, even though I drew the walls, <clears throat> they disappeared because they're not set to the right constraints. So, they're buried. They're not in the right place. Well, you can fix this. If this happens to you, click on the wall. You can click on multiple walls if you hold the control key. So I'm going to hold control on my keyboard. I'm going to select both walls. And now I'm going to adjust the constraints. So I'm going to back to here. I'm going to make my base constraint what it should be, top of floor. My top constraint, roof, apply. There they are. They fix themselves. I fix them manually. So if that happens to you and a wall is, is you know, you think it's there, you don't know where, when, um, take a look under your plan. Look, look underneath. Maybe they're there and they just didn't have the right constraints on them. You can adjust them afterwards. So go through and put all your walls in.